Here I am with uh, another one of our pro fighters for tonight. Uh, I'm here with Declan Kid Dynamite Williams from Manchester Predators. Declan, how you doing today, mate? Yeah, I'm good. Good, good. Well, I haven't seen you for a while. Um, I used to have seen quite a few of your fights back in the day, and um, obviously you've built up quite a significant record since then. Yeah. And uh, you've, you, you were quite active last year, four, 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 four times. Yeah. And um, obviously this is your uh, first time fighting on Fight UK, yeah? It is, yeah. yeah. Excellent. Now, obviously you are fighting a guy called uh, Joe Rice. Do you know much about him? Uh, I know it's his debut at Pro. I know he's had a few amateurs, won them all, so he's unbeaten. Uh, there's not really much, I haven't done too much research mm. on him. But look, I mean, you're a very, very experienced guy. Um, yeah. Like I say, you've been around the scene for a long, long time. Um, you know, I've always I've always enjoyed seeing your fight. Um, you know, you obviously Kid Dynamite, the nickname, obviously very explosive. And I'm, I'm hoping that obviously in the couple of years that I haven't seen you, that obviously your techniques have got a lot better. So I'm expecting to see a lot of, uh, some, some new stuff from the Kid Dynamite tonight. Yeah, yeah, I, I hope they've got better anyway. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, I'm a lot different from years ago there, but I'm still still exploring but a uh, lot more technical Excellent. Good stuff. Well listen, Declan, nice to see you again, mate. Like I say, it's always a pleasure to see you fight. Really looking forward to showcasing your skills tonight and I'll wish you the best of luck, Excellent. mate. Thank you, mate. Here I am with uh, one of our pro fighters for this evening, um, with Joe Rice, who's fighting our first pro fight against Declan Williams. Uh, Joe is from uh, Bushido MMA in Nottingham, and tonight is his professional debut. Uh, Joe, how you doing, mate? Yeah, I'm alright, good. Excellent, excellent. Now, obviously, Bushido MMA, I know the gym very, very well. You've always had a lot of guys fighting on Fight UK. You've got a strong background there and a strong bunch of guys. Uh, is there anything special that you've done to prepare for Declan? Uh, no, just been working hard, working all areas of my game. Um, yeah, just just effing normal camp. Excellent. Well. Good stuff. Well, you were four and I was an amateur, undefeated. Yep. Uh, you're entering your pro debut. Now, obviously, there's no denying that Declan's got a lot more experience than you. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, as an undefeated amateur, you're certainly not going in there green, are you? No. So, um, how do you think that the experience gap's going to play out? Yeah, he, he's got a lot of experience and uh, he's a good fighter, but... At the end of the day, one fight's it's just one fight, isn't it? It's, that's it, that's it's, it. it's history, it doesn't really matter in the fight, so I do my best. Excellent. Well, look, you, you've never tasted defeat yet, no. and obviously, you know, Declan's got a, a fairly split, mixed record there. Yeah, yeah, so, like fine. you say, you know, everybody everybody on that day can be beaten, yeah. and um, you seem very, very determined. You've got a, a glint in your eye there, and you certainly you look at like a little cheeky grin there. I love that, man. So, look, you can see that you're really looking forward to getting in there. So, what I'll do is I'll wish you the best of luck for tonight, mate, and I can't wait to see you in there throwing yeah. down. Cheers. So next up we have professional mixed martial arts action. Declan Williams in the blue corner, Joe Rice in the red corner, Rice. Rice fighting out of Bushido MMA under Lee Livingston. Williams fighting out of Manchester Predators. Yeah, Deck Williams is a very experienced professional fighter. Eight wins, seven losses and three draws. And uh, six of those wins coming by way of knockout. You know, he's got big power in his hands, he's got the experience, and this is a huge fight for Rice at the start of his pro career. That was a nicely timed uh, takedown attempt there. Unfortunately, he didn't go through and see fruition, but that was a nice reversal there from Rice. Look at that. Yeah, Rice hits the trip and gets on top. Declan getting back to his feet using that wizard. Good work. I was surprised to see um, Williams shooting for that takedown. Yeah, it's a nice, strong position to be in. And now we see Rice on his back. Butterfly guard in. Williams in the top position. Massive slam there. Absolutely huge slam. Rice now up against the cage wall. Williams coming in, looking to pin his man, using just gravity there, driving into him, takes the ankle, pulls him back down. He's just smothering him now. Yeah, good control, and Williams gets to the back. Good back control, and this is where a guy with good experience will really start to make you pay. 
The choke is not under the chin, but it does look tight. There's going to be a lot of pressure on the jaw there. Williams really cranking on for that finish. The hooks are in deep. I can't quite see the angle from here. There yeah, we go. It's not under the chin, but Williams really working to lift, uh, lift that chin up to try and put that choking arm underneath the neck. He is swimming his arm through, trying to get the control. Yeah, both guys from gyms with great grappling pedigrees as well, Predators and uh, Bushido respectively. But it's the experience of Williams and that composure that's really shining through at the moment, not giving Rice an inch of space as he looks for that rear naked choke finish. That's it, and it's very tiring being in this position, trying to defend. And they're just loosening off with a few shots there, just trying to open up the chin. You know, they're not the most powerful shots, but sometimes it's just enough to be able to squeeze the arm underneath the chin. It's keeping your opponent guessing, isn't it, Jay? I mean, it's just, am I attacking the body? Am I attacking the underhooks? Am I attacking your head? Oh, no, surprise, I've got the rear choke on. Yeah, exactly, and, uh, you know, guys know how to defend a choke, especially when you get to the pro level. You know, that's why you've got to mix it up, especially putting the, the shots in, and, you know, we know uh, Williams hits hard as well, so Rice has got a lot to think about. Especially on his pro debut as well against the guy's experience as Williams. If he gets flattened out from this position, this that is, is bad news. This is dangerous. Rice needs to try and keep facing up. I mean, yeah. Rice, to his credit, you know, he had a good amateur record. He's really stepped up to a high level pro fight and he's sticking in there despite, you know, Williams having the experience advantage and uh, dominating this position. He's certainly not giving up. And that's no. a testament to his character. No, that's right. He is, uh, you know, he's he's got a very, very tough opponent here in Williams, and uh, he's he's doing well. You know, he's not he's not being finished, and many a man would have been, you know, succumbed to the shots and just let the arm go under just because it ends the misery of being punched in the face. Yeah, calm, patient work from Williams. You know, when you've got as many fights as he's had. Uh, you know, he, he had a long amateur career as well, do, no doubt about that. When you've had as many fights as he has, you know when to rush, when to work for it and what to do. And he's really cranking on the bridge of the nose there of Rice. You could see him grimacing, the, the pain on the face is pretty evident. And sometimes yeah. that's enough to get the reaction to be able to actually slip under the chin for the choke as well. That's right, he's trying every single trick in the book and we can hear referee Leon Roberts telling him to watch his fingers going in orifices where they're not welcome. Because that, that is the before. danger, absolutely. Survivor, that wasn't on the UK MMA scene, but let's not go there. And 10 seconds left, Joe Rice looks like he's uh, about to survive a torrid, torrid round. 10-8, Lloyd. It's got to be, it's got to be. Now, the big question on my lips is, who has taken the most fuel out of their tank throughout that onslaught? Who will have spent more energy? Williams on the attack or Rice on the defense? Rice will have picked up more damage. Yeah, but you see, you know, Williams has gone the distance in some very close competitive fights with, you know, some of the best guys uh, in the UK and Europe. And, uh, you know, he's even fought, you know, good level Americans. And he's gone the distance a lot of times. He's got the gas in the tank to go the whole way. Five minute rounds. You know, they're, they're having a close look at Rice. I'm not sure. But well, the problem is the doctors are in. And uh, yeah, they're having a close look. Referee Leon Roberts really on top of things. You know, as you'd expect from a referee. And that's it, the fight's over. It's been called. Not entirely sure why there, but obviously fight a paramount of safety. So another win for Declan Williams. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, at the end of round number one, your referee, Mr. Leon Roberts, calls a stop to this contest on the advice of our ringside doctor, Dr. Ali. Um, Joe Rice sustained an injury during the first round and dislocated his shoulder and is unable to continue. Declaring your winner by technical uh, technical submission would be Declan Kid Dynamite Williams. But let's hear it for a very tough cookie. Let's hear it for Joe Rice.